Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining our in-game update. Just going to go over with you really what's at the top of my whiteboard. I'll go over some charts. And, you know, if we get a risk on green signal, this is where I'll be going to increase our exposure. Um, let's start with a look at the markets. So we're looking at the four um, major indexes and in volatility right here. So VIX is now above the VWAP. That's what that shows you right here, which is not really what we want to see, but not the end of the world. Um, but at, as that's happening, as VIX is starting to climb, the market is dropping to the lows of the session, right? So I, I expect mean reversion. I don't really expect this to get out of hand on the downside. So if it sells off in here, I expect it to you know rally back up. It's 2.30 sell off. We'll see where we are at four o'clock. But th this is the only thing that concerns me. You know, if, if VIX starts to really catch fire, then there's something else going on that, you know, is going to upset the apple cart. Otherwise, the closer we get to Friday, the more the volatility compresses. Um, and so these spikes should be short lived. We'll see what happens. So let's just go over to um, what we're looking at if we want to add positions to the portfolio. And I got shares of Lumen Tech here. I've been on conference calls all day. I'm in the midst of the uh, GrowGen conference call right now. I'm going to go back to that in a minute. Um, when I was listening to the Nokia conference call, it made it very clear that the, the guys that own the most amount of dark fiber are going to have a real, real great um, couple of years ahead of them. And, and nobody's got more dark fiber than Lumen Tech. So we sold Lumen right in here and now it's popped back up, but it's on the top of my whiteboard. If we get a risk on entry point, I'm going to want to add that to the portfolio. And then here's Nokia. The market's accelerating lower as I'm talking to you. So that kind of makes it difficult to have this conversation. Um, we'll see where this, what's the next story that's going to hit the tape. Anyway, um, so this is the chart pattern we're looking at on Nokia. You know, this is um, a pretty serious long-term downtrend that's been broken. And that's... Um, like that for me. So it's gapped up. It's had a consolidation. I listened to the earnings announcement. I mean, the management team, it was a, it was a real kind of boring call, but it, it does seem like the worm has turned for this company. There's, they're really starting to see business grow and, and it's all about IOT and 5G and, and all those types of things. So um, the, the business is totally different. And this is a classic, I think, um, value entry point. So that's something that could really be interesting in the portfolio. Moving on, um, added shares of FireEye this morning. That's the chart pattern we're looking at. You know, really the low of three days ago is the stop for me. And so then it really forces me to look at the other uh, cyber security stocks. CrowdStrike looks really good. It looks really good there. What I really like about this pattern is this bar right here. To me, that sets the anchor for the next um, algo trade higher. And so if it takes out the low of that bar, that's your obvious stop. You could also be more aggressive and use the low of this bar as the stop. So this is the flag pole. This is the tight flag formation. This is the breakout day. So if it goes back below the low of today, this trade's completely over. You don't even have to wait for it to go lower. And I was on the, the uh, conference call for NET. It's the same exact pattern for NET. The triple bottom at the 200-day moving average with that flag pattern right here, and this is the up day. So you could use the low of today as your stop. You could use the low of yesterday as the stop. That, that's an interesting looking pattern. The one thing that was disturbing on the call that I heard from the CEO of, of Cloudflare is that one of his biggest concerns is the amount of hacking attacks that his company has to deal with on a constant basis. You know, it's, it seems as if hacking attacks have ramped up on all types of businesses. And um, while that's good for his business, it's also a concern. I mean, you'd hate to wake up and find out Cloudflare has been hacked. So I guess what you'd want to do is make sure you have the right position size on if you use these ideas. Um, let's go over to some industrials I'd like to add. I'd like to own Cliffs. I highlighted this morning that 20 is the uh, key gamma level, and, and this is a mean reversion week. So we'd expect it to move back down to 20. So when we look at the intraday pattern, it's just coming right back down towards 20, which is here. So we're, we're really looking to buy this thing somewhere in the next couple of days around 20. We have another uh, 
you know, dynamic trader on the desk today in case. <laughs> Let's don't do that, lovey. You're, you're live, honey bun. All right. So I'd like to own steel and CLF if we can get them down at their gamma levels. 20 and 25 is the gamma level here. So we'll see if we get weakness down there in the next couple of days. Um, I got my eye on MRNA. We had a real nice day trade today in MRNA. It's a nice cup and handle. We bought it. It ran up. We sold it, booked our profit. Um, that ended up being a great trade. We bought it right here. It ran, had a three bar reversal and we exited right here and it's gone down ever since. I'll be looking for that trade again though. So I added shares of MSOS. This is just simply a, a $40 price is the stop. It looks like a triple bottom right at that level. It made a higher low here. And so I'm putting the trade on, you know, if it takes out 40, I'll exit again. This is a swing trade. This is an investing opportunity. So both portfolios own this now with a 40 stop. I think it's 39.65 is my stop. And then I just couldn't help myself. I just couldn't help myself. I had to add personally, I have not added this to armor portfolios, but on a day trade here, and I, I might hold it overnight. I'm adding organogram. I don't know what that, why that start stock is outperforming all the other guys in the group. I don't know, but that pattern looks just good to me. And of course it's backed off from that level because the market's coming in. So, um, no urgency there, but I love that pattern. So I'm looking for patterns like this tight to bases, tier one entries or, or value entry points. I'd like to get back into the CVS Walgreens trades. I mean, CVS just blew out. Kind of bummed I uh, let that stock go. I booked a nice profit, but still that thing is just skyrocketing. So it makes me want to look at Rite Aid, which is broken out. Now let's see if it consolidates right up here. We can get a shares of, of of uh, Rite Aid in the portfolio and then, and then maybe shares of Walgreens. So I got my eye on those names. So that's pretty much what I'm looking at today. All of those names are on my list. Uh, um, oh yeah, don't forget Roku. Double bottom, 200 day, same anchor right here. Anchors the algo for a risk on entry point. You could actually own it right here and the low of today is the stop. You know, I'm not going to do that, but the market's selling off you know, hard here into the end of the day. So we're going to have to avoid that. But those are the ideas I'm looking at. Oh, and don't forget tech. It's my last. Ah, it's too far away. I'm not going to add that up here. Meanwhile, you know, the metals, the metal part of our portfolio is performing really well. Newmont's gone to a new high. Sprott Physical, which we bought yesterday to increase our exposures up about a percent on the day trying to break out of that pattern. So that was the right place to go to add some exposure. All right. Any other questions? All right. Good. Everybody's okay. Great. So any questions you got for me, just shout them out in the Slack room and I'll, I'll see if I can answer as we go.